Welcome back, viewers. Today, we will be testing Eller's Stochastic Cyber Cycle Signals. But before we do, if you have not watched my first video and the videos after that, you need to go do that right now. Here at the Academy of Forex, we are building the best trading system possible as a team. And as a team, we will all profit from it when we are done. You can find a link to the first video down in the description below. You can also find a link to our Discord server. So that way we can all discuss testing indicators and building our trading system. And lastly, you can find a link below to TradingView. If you sign up for a paid account, you will save a little bit of money using the link below. All right, as I said, today we will be testing Eller's Stochastic Cyber Cycle Signals. But before we do, I wanted to put the indicator scoreboard up for everyone to see. So to date, we have tested 125 indicators. And out of those 125 indicators, 51 of them have been winners, which means that they have met or exceeded the 60% win-loss ratio threshold that we have set for them. The best ones so far were able to achieve a 100% win rate. Now you need to go back and watch those videos to understand the context of how they were able to achieve that. But as we are working on building the best trading system possible, you could take any one of those 51 indicators and get out there and start potentially profitably trading the markets with them now. So go back and watch those videos, make a list of those indicators and get out there and see what you can do with them. But stick with us here as we work on maximizing your trading profits. So today's indicator, which is a mouthful, is Eller's Starcastics Cyber Cycle Signals. I know there's a whole lot to that. Um, the indicator in itself is relatively easy uh, to interpret. This is a TradingView member created indicator. And so of course there will be a link down below in the description. In the last couple of videos, I've been explaining how um, on our Discord server, Discord is a free uh, website or app that you can uh, join us to have real-time discussions about trading and indicators and, uh, yeah, all things trading uh, type deal. And so on there, we have a channel specifically for indicator creation. And so one of the biggest issues we have here is that uh, people don't have access to or um, don't use the TradingView platform uh, very much. And so if you don't, first and foremost, I urge that you get a TradingView account. Uh, it's super simple. It's a great platform to use. Uh, if you're only using it just for trade analysis, trust me, it is absolutely worth it. Uh, but if you're dead set on trading on another platform like the MT platforms, then uh, I have linked to a list of freelancers who can uh, recreate these indicators for you for the MT platforms if for some reason you cannot find them for the MT platform. So, uh, yes, there should be uh, the ability for most people to follow along. If you are interested in just having an indicator created for PineScript, which is uh, here on TradingView, then I also linked to freelancers there on the uh, uh, indicator creation channel. Uh, I linked to freelancers who uh, create uh, indicators in the PineScript code as well. And so, uh, yes, if you need indicators created, there are definitely those options and you have the ability to uh, seek out those freelancers. They do work for super really reliable super really reasonable prices and so um yeah that should give the ability for most people to be able to follow along with us regardless of what platform you're using so with all that being said today's indicator uh it uh, like i said is pretty simple to interpret 
there's not a whole lot of visual things going on here. Basically, we just have these triangles which are pointing down or pointing up. There we go. I added the take profit and stop loss. I forgot to do that a moment ago. Um, and so, yeah, we have these triangles here that are pointing up and down. One thing I am going to do is go in and make a slight visual change. So these will be the long signals. These will be the short signals. Okay, there we go. So that makes it a little bit easier. Uh, we have the arrows that are pointing up are for long signals. The arrows that are pointing down are for short signals. Pretty simple. When we get an arrow that points uh, downward, then it is a, uh, like I said, a, a signal to go short. When we get an arrow that points upwards, a green arrow, that is a signal to go long. And that is how we will be testing it today. So let's get on with it and see what we get. All right, so there is the first signal right there. Let's see what we get out of it. We got first take profit, so that is good. And then we see that it throws a long signal down here, but we need to play it forward a little bit to see where it goes. So it uh, didn't get very far at all before it then gave us a short signal. So we're on a short signal now. That one did not get very far either before it got us stopped out. Then we get a short signal up here. Looks like this candle probably got us to take profit. Yep, it sure did. There we go. So I can already tell you that it looks like this one might be a bit of an over trader. And so we know how over trading indicators, their uh, history here on the testing field is not that great. And so let's see here. That one is a short. That one did pretty well. We would have um, still been in this short signal right here when this one went. So we'll ignore that one. Uh, now we get this short down here. Short for a moment. Actually, let's measure this one off real quick just to double check. See there to there. Yeah, that's what I thought. Was not able to get to take profit. It then gave us the long signal there. There we go. So long signal worked out. Then it gave us this random short right here. And that one obviously did not work out in our favor. And let's see what it's doing up here. So it gave us this long signal here. Came down to here. It stopped us out on that one. Then gave us another long right there. That one would have done all right and gave us take profit, but then it gave us a short there. Let's play this out and see what it does. I'm um, pretty sure that one got stopped out there. It did. So stopped out there. All right, let's see. So it gave us a long right there don't think nope that one did not get us to take profit looks like this one did here oops wrong color there we go all right let's see there is a long signal here and a short signal up there at the top let's see what that one does that one got annihilated by a gap up. Uh, 
And so um, this can be rather scary sometimes. Uh, basically, this was a transition from, let's see here. Yeah, this was a transition from one weekend to another. Um, this is why staying in a position over a weekend can definitely um, can definitely be a gamble sometimes. You can see here that this did a pretty significant gap up. Let's see, even looking at that tail. Let's see, we would have been here. We would have been right there. So um, that would not have hit the I take that back the stop is uh, 165 why was I thinking it was 135 um, so the stop so yeah that uh, that would have come down and hit our stop but you see that it it definitely gapped up way up above there and say had it not uh, drop down created this little bit of a tail right here then um yeah that would have that would have been a scary proposition for sure um, but it it did it come down and would have uh hit or stop there looks like it did pretty much fill the gap between uh tell to tell or wick to wick on those um on these two candles right here uh, but yeah that that can definitely be scary and so um something something to remember when you're keeping a position over a weekend is that you might very well get a gap up situation so i guess it could be a, a gap down not necessarily a gap up and so yeah that could definitely create some chaos for you if you are not careful all right so it's giving us this short signal right here let's play it forward a little bit and see what it does well unfortunately not too great because then it throws us long signal right there long signal looks good first take profit let's measure it out just to be safe yep uh let's see gave us another long right there worked out for us then a short right there let's see did that one didn't quite make it to take profit then it threw this long signal right here let's play it out that one was able to get to take profit so that one did all right then it's throwing a short signal right here, which it looks like it is creating a double top right here. So that's one of them instances where a uh, where your indicator is giving you a signal along with price action, uh, kind of confirming the signal. Let's play it out and see what happens. There you have it. So double top confirmed by the uh, by the indicator we were using created a really good setup convergence of a few different uh, few different signals telling us that it was looking like it could go down and it definitely did let's see through random Random long signal there. Didn't quite stop us out yet, but it did there. As we got a short signal right here, but then it turned around and went almost immediately against it. Not sure if that quite got us stopped out. Let's check. Let's see here. It did not, so we have this short here. We would have been in it still when that one fired off. 
and then it came down and gave us take profit so not too bad then it gave us a long signal right there Let's see if we got to take profit I don't think we did yeah we actually did a short signal right there that one came down strong all right what's this one doing so I have it opening here didn't get us to take profit so that one would have stopped us out when the short took place then same way with that short would have gotten stopped out when the long took place then that long took place and that was finally a pretty good long and it gave us a short up there let's see what it does it gets stopped out because it gives us a long And let's see what the long does the long gets short or the long gets stopped out because it went uh, short on us there let's see yeah that didn't work let's see we got a long signal there it's played out a little bit that one would have worked out for us not too bad then we get a short signal up here that one worked out but this long signal down here got pretty well knocked completely out and a short signal there that one also did not work out for us I don't think this one worked either. I don't think we quite. Nope, we did. There we go. So that one worked. Then we get a long here. Let's see what it does. Long, then a long on top of it. So let me measure this candle out. Let's see. Yeah, so that one would have worked, and then we would have gotten this one here that one would have worked also then a long here which worked and a short there which did not there's a long there that one did not work out. It's a short there. Let's see what it does. That one also did not work out. Eventually gave us a long there. That long was able to get to take profits. Then a short there. which would have worked out eventually Let's see we get along there that one would have gotten stopped out by the short right there Let's play this out a little bit and see what it does. Barely got take profit on that one there. Then it called that short here. So let's play this out a little bit because I'm not sure. Yep, there we go. Then along here. Looks like that's going to be our last one. 
for the year. And let's measure it out. Yep. So that one worked out for us. All right. Wow. There we have it. A whole lot of signals. Let's count them out and see what we got. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, and 48. So 48 signals all together. Let's count out the winners. We have one, two, three. Start again here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, and twenty-six. So, as I suspected, it uh, barely misses the sixty percent. It is a um, Definitely an overtrading indicator, throwing us lots and lots and lots of signals, which is pretty insane. Uh, yeah, the, the problem with indicators like this is at a certain point, you are kind of just giving a coin toss. I mean, it really is a 50-50 chance on whether or not it's going to work or not. It's not really giving you any kind of a significant advantage to... Um, you know, actually identifying when something's taking place. It's just throwing a signal at every single little uh, move that it makes in hopes that it's going to be accurate. And so, um, you know, it's not that you can't trade like this. It's that when you're taking almost as many losses as you are wins, it really weighs on you mentally. And so not something that I'm excited to do. And um, not not a way of trading that I've ever been happy with doing. And so, um, yeah, uh, indicators like this, I just feel like are not very good for us. I feel like it is better to uh, wait for a little bit more better confirmation than to just you know flip a coin and hope for the best type of type of situation. So. Yeah, this one's going on the no list and we will move on to the next indicator from here. If you have not already, like this video, comment below, subscribe to the channel, and turn on the bell notification so that way you are notified anytime I post a new video. As part of the team, it's important that you are seeing the new videos as they come out so you know what it is that we are discussing and what indicators we are testing, have tested, and have not tested. Also, like usual, there is a link below in the description to the Discord server. You can join us on Discord so that way we can further discuss the indicators and have discussions as we move forward building our trading system. And lastly, like usual, there is a link below to TradingView. If you like what you see whenever I use TradingView and you are interested in signing up for TradingView, if you use the link below and sign up for a paid account, you will save a little bit of money. So, all right, everybody, I will see you.